Today we're making pico de gallo and queso. Um, we're gonna start with the pico de gallo and that's just a fresh salsa. Sometimes it's called salsa fresco. And it's really simple. It's just chopped up tomatoes, onions, uh, jalapeno, lime juice, a little bit of salt and pepper. And you mix it all together and it's really good with tortilla chips or you can mix it with a taco or if you're just having it for a snack. So we're gonna start by dicing up our tomatoes. And we have four medium sized tomatoes that I got at the grocery store. And all you do is you take your top off and we'll set that to the side. You can use that part, but we're just gonna keep it simple today. And you're going to slice them into kind of slices that you would do for a sandwich. All right, and once you get your slices, you can either stack them or do them one at a time. It's a little bit faster to stack them. And we're gonna cut them into what I like to call french fries or just long strips. So they look just like that and then we'll turn them around and cut them into small little cubes. Kind of like what you would see in a normal salsa, that kind of size of a chop, just a really small chopped up tomato. Okay, now that we have our tomatoes diced up, I put them in our mixing bowl and the next thing we're going to dice up is our onion. We're gonna do half of a yellow onion and to do that, we're just going to take off the bottom and then flip it over on our cutting board and slice it right down the middle. We want to leave the fuzzy part intact and we'll use the other part of the onion for something else and then we'll peel the skin back. Okay, so we got our skin peeled back on our onion, and now we're just going to slice up following the lines that the onion already has naturally, and this will give us nice slices. All right, and then we'll go back and dice it up. Okay, now that we have our onion diced up and in the bowl with our tomato, we're going to dice up half of a jalapeno. This is a fresh jalapeno, not like one you see that you get in a can. This is one that actually grew on a jalapeno plant. So when you cut it open, you'll see that there's seeds in the middle. And you want to take those seeds out just like a regular like bell pepper or any sort of other pepper that you might work with. And just set those to the side. We don't need them and we'll save the other half of the jalapeno for something else. And once we get our half, we'll cut off the top with a stem because we don't need that either. And then we'll go down the jalapeno and make our french fry shapes again, like we've been doing everything else. And then we'll go back and dice it up. And then we'll add that into our onion and tomato uh, mixture in the bowl. Okay, now we're gonna add some cilantro. And cilantro has a really unique flavor to it and it really brings out the freshness of the tomato and the onion and the jalapeno. And we're just gonna do about a tablespoon. And what I do with my cilantro is I just kind of ball it all up and then take my knife and go back and slice it up. If you like cilantro a lot, you can add a little bit more. If you don't like it so much, you can add less. I really like cilantro, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and add that into our bowl. Now we're going to add some lime juice. So we have a fresh lime and we're just going to add half of it. So we'll take our lime and cut it in half. You can either do it lengthwise or horizontally. It doesn't really matter, but we'll do it horizontally. And then we'll take our lime and squeeze it over our mixture. Now we're gonna move on to our cheese sauce or queso. 
This is really similar to what you get in a Mexican restaurant, and we actually serve this in our cafeterias at school when we do nacho day. Um, it is a really, really good recipe. My family loves it. We do it for football games or you know, little family um, afternoons together on the weekends. So it's super simple. All we're going to do is take one pound of white American cheese and without plugging any particular retailer, um, the value brand at a certain big box retailer is probably the best one to use. Um, so we're just gonna take the one pound and take it out of the package and throw it into our pan. Making sure that we kind of spread out the cheese so it's evenly um, distributed in our pan. You can use a pot at home. Um, here we just have the saute pan and it works fine too. And then we're going to add one cup of water and just pour that over our cheese. And then these are green roasted chilies that you get in a can at the grocery store. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon. I'm gonna eyeball it, but at home you can measure it out and just add that in. So what we'll do now is heat that over like a medium low heat, making sure that we whisk it up the whole time we're cooking it. Once it's all kind of melted and cheesy and gooey, it's done. Okay, we got our queso and our pico de gallo done. I really hope you guys can enjoy these at home with your family. Um, thank you guys for watching our Chart Wheels at Home series. I really appreciate all of the great comments and feedback we get from you, and we hope to see you soon.